All right, good morning, everybody. I'm out at the shop this morning. Uh, we're gonna do a training video for y'all. Um, we're gonna be doing some front end work. Um, what we're gonna be doing is, we just got done doing a whole bunch of work on this truck right here. Um, and he just picked it up and went ahead and just wrecked it. So um, we're gonna be taking all the front end parts off of this truck and we're going to be putting it putting them on his brother's truck and the reason why we're doing that is because the the parts off this truck are brand new so we're going to be taking uh like i say the parts off of that chevy duramax and we're going to be putting them on to chevy duramax that we have in the shop already up in the air so there it is there's dylan say hi dylan what's up so this is the Duramax we're going to be doing. Um, we're going to be doing uh, outer tie rod ends, inner tie rod ends. We're going to be doing the center link. Um, so here's your outer tie rod ends. Here's your center link. Um, we're going to be doing uh, sway bar kits, provided they're not bent from the other truck. Uh, we're going to be doing a our idler arm which you can't really see let me get some light up there that'll help okay so we're going to be doing the idler arm which is here we're going to be doing the pitman arm we're also going to be doing the steering gear box because of a leak that it's having all right so i don't know if we're going to put we'll probably just transfer over the uh i don't know if you can see it let me get my head just right. Um, there is a steering stabilizer in here that we're going to be replacing as well. Um, at any rate, we're also going to be draining the differential because we're thinking that uh, the differential is leaking. All right, so there's that drain plug. I'm going to go drain that fluid and we're going to see if um, if we get any metal out of it. So it's a 13 millimeter. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. I gotta get way down low. I'm still learning, guys. Go no, this camera thing is, I just gotta learn how to use it. I can adjust it. Maybe that's what I'll have to do. Anyway, we're gonna look for milk or silvery stuff coming out of this thing. Look at all that. Put it back in for a second. We'll get a, So we're going to get a cup to collect that because that's uh, that's definitely not good there. We're just probably going to need a new differential gear set. All right, so I'm going to get down here and we're going to capture some of this stuff so we can show the customer. Look at all the metal on that. That's not good, boys and girls. All right, well, that's it for now. We're going to let that finish draining and collect up some metal. And uh, we'll do some more video in here in a little bit. All right, so we're back. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start taking this uh, differential assembly out. Uh, we're going to go ahead and also do the center links or the center link and um, the rest of the steering system that needs to get done here. Uh, so I'm going to go to work and um, we'll see about uh, how this all goes. Alright, 15 millimeter bolts here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to 
take the bolts out of this this front axle on the driver's side this is the inner axle area and this is the outer cv axle joint inner cv axle joint well there's brad morning brad all right There's one. There's two. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try something here. GoPro, stop recording. All right, so we're back. We've got the axles up, tied out of the way. So the next thing we're gonna start doing is we're gonna start removing the center link, the tie rods, so on and so forth. All right, GoPro, stop recording. All right, guys. So what I'm getting ready to show you here is this uh, center link assembly all right so um so here it is uh this is our center link okay so the center link's here and then this is where the pitman arm attaches to this is where the idler arm attaches to this is our stabilizer shock uh, most four-wheel drives have them to keep the steering wheel shimmy to a minimum as they're driving down the road and then there's my inner tie rod end and then here's my outer tie rod end and the same thing on the other side so right here's my inner right here's my outer all right these guys pivot back and forth and they'll actually turn inside of this socket so that as i'm going around corners or steering or the suspensions moving up and down these guys can move in all different directions all right the inner tie rod end also is able to move and pivot all right so that's out of this truck and then the other thing we ended up dropping out is the actual front differential assembly which is right here um, when we take the one out of the other truck, because we're going to be switching them over, um, we'll show you the process of, of doing that as well. All right, so next, we're going to be doing the steering gear box. All right, which is this guy right here. There's the steering gear box. And then... Here's a better picture of the idler arm assembly that we're going to be getting out of there. So that's coming out next. And uh, once it's out, I'll give you some more information on those guys. Go so, GoPro, stop filming. All right, so we're back, everybody. Um, we've got all the components out. Uh, we are going to talk a little bit about them this is the steering gear box okay the steering gear box um here is the pitman arm and this is where the input shaft of the steering wheel column goes into and then as i'm turning it back and forth 
you can see that the pitman arm will turn. Okay. And then on the other side is again my idler arm. And the idea between the gearbox and the idler arm, as well as the center link, is to keep the suspension system totally horizontal. Um, if it's not horizontal, what it'll do is it'll change the tire toe and uh, cause problems. So when these parts wear, a lot of times that's exactly what happens, is we start seeing like toe wear problems, um, steering wheel kick, bump, things of that nature. Um, so that's it for now. That would be your parallelogram steering system.